530, not on the uh, clock here, but in real time, I'll be using this order and do this. Present. All the time. Present. In the bottom. And on the floor. Present. Do I have that or do you? First of all, the big one is approval of minutes. Okay. Do I hear a second? Don't all speak at once, but I hear it. Well, then what I hear is, it's not a second? Oh, I guess. You would, I didn't hear you. I was running on now. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Do you have any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Say nay. And one person wants to hear. Thank you. Thank you. So it's fantastic. Um, public hearing. Public hearing bonding article for wastewater treatment plan. Well, Mr. Gannon, you're up. You have an overwhelming applause to hear this wonderful piece of work. We are required because of excuse me. We are required because of a uh, condition in our approval for the license of the wastewater treatment plant to provide for a five million dollar sum. To in fact make improvements to the wastewater treatment plant, upgrade. Um, and I'll be trying to say this is phase one because it looks as if the total package is like 9.8 million over a period of years. Uh, <coughs> the state of the nature is underwriting as well, this is just money, and then unfortunately we're not underwriting all of it. Um, <coughs> But I do have a note from the illustrious contractor. Contractor, I'm supposed to. Underwood? Underwood in the year. The state is underwriting $1.5 million. And they're also uh, underwriting an additional $2.55 million. Leaving 2.95 million to be paid back. Um, the 20 year note would be a 2% interest. And the um, annual payment would be $180,000 at that rate. Uh, and there is no penalty for early payment. I can tell you after review of the income of the wastewater treatment facility because of the new um, facility down there for the treatment of the septic. But we'll be able to pay this note, the note impact of either the tax rate or the sewer rate. And that would be a big benefit of time. It also appears uh, that it should <coughs> uh, that the, the septic receiving station stay in proper operation without major repairs. I make this caveat all the time. Um, but we should be able to pay most or all of the existing sewer treatment plant note that's out there in the only bond of debt town campus. Uh, that would have a reduction in the tax rate for the principal and interest. So our goal is to try to get there from here. And uh, try to reduce taxes in some fashion, but there's one way to reduce taxes. So that will be coming back to the board later in the year when the bond payment is due. It will be up to the board as to whether or not we transfer funds from the sewer uh, stepping account to the general fund as a receipt of uh, the decreased taxes. Going to a whole realm of different things that need to be 
time down there, but I'm not going to bore you with a lot of technical problems, which I know our superintendent can do if he wishes. So I'm hoping you won't. There are basically what we're doing here is we are moving to a full treatment facility sometime in the future. That may be 10 years from now, maybe 25 years from now, maybe 35 years from now. But we are going to gradually move towards that time and the town has a full scale of this sort of treatment facility. That's why we took a five million dollar note requirement for permit to continue operations. That's all we're talking about. Fred, do we know how long this project will take? Not yet. <coughs> um, I'm going to tell you it's going to be up for 10 years. The reason we're going for a 20 year note is to get the payment for the city. That plus, should we have problems at the plant? We need to take money that's existing, the money that would be coming in to correct those problems, so that we have to still erase those tensions. So we're stretching this out, but we should not have to pay anything on the tax rate that's still there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we close the uh, public hearing on the required treatment plan. And now I'm looking at the public hearing on the 2022 town budget and warrant article. Once again, Mr. Wilk, well, the motion. Mr. Chairman, there are copies of the warrant up here if anybody wants to see them. There are a number of officials to be elected in the article one of the warrant. <coughs> one selectman, one trustee of the trust fund, one, one library trustee, one supervisor of the two members of the budget committee, one member uh, for a three year term of the cemetery trustees, and one member for a uh, term of the uh, two, 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 two year term of the library cemetery trustees, and a moderator. Article 2 is the proposed zoning ordinance by the planning board, subject to a continued hearing. So, should the planning board decide to warrant the, the article will not appear in the warrant, Article 2 will disappear. Uh, but they, they have a scheduled hearing coming up later in the month, which they are entitled to do by statute to continue to work on this particular issue. They would, if it remains here, we could report that the delivery section in brief here. It's not a debatable article. It requires a separate warrant and a separate vote time for voting on this particular idea. Article 3 is the one we just heard, which is a $5 million note for the waste water treatment plant. Article 4. The operating budget. The purposes are set forth in the budget to three million seven hundred thousand three hundred and sixty eight dollars. The default budget would be three million ten thousand five hundred and forty four dollars. We can go through each and every item of the budget, which is easy. We can show the public comes anyhow in the public hearing on the budget to be existing. There's a slight increase, but just about everything else in life this year has turned out to be a slight increase. It's pretty hard not to even go to the supermarket and not find out that your supermarket bill has just gone up about 50%. Article 5 is the electric department budget. The total budget is $3,500,532. The default budget is $3,000,000. $66,298. It has no tax income. The water department budget for the town 
is three hundred and forty four thousand seventy two dollars. The fall will be three hundred and forty one thousand ninety two dollars. Again, there is no tax impact because the revenue loss tax impact. Article seven would be the school budget. Same same thing there's no impact because the revenue the income offset offset the total cost of six hundred and thirty four thousand six hundred six dollars. For the fall of six hundred and fourteen thousand one hundred and twenty six dollars. Article number, I should stop and ask if there's any questions. Yes. That's a lot of money. Very quickly. Article eight. Uh, estimated tax impact is point six six cents uh, per thousand. The graduation, this is for a new sidewalk tractor from the Department of Public Works. The cost of one hundred and sixty-seven thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight dollars. We attempted to get a lease purchase agreement for five years on this, but it's not available. We would have to take a normal note, which requires something considerably different than the bond of debt. Uh, we opted not to do that <coughs> simply because it would cost a significant amount of extra money. Uh, basically, it boiled down to uh, we will be buying a brand new motor. In that five year period, in addition to the tractor, which is a lot of money. So we decided that was not something to stick in the textbook. We do need to replace it. And we, are, we do have gear that will be used, uh, not pretty good, along with the tractor, which is, has a pretty good value of $12,000. Uh, and the gear will be used to continue to be sidewalks and other functions in the town. Article number nine uh, is the contingency fund for twenty-five thousand dollars. There's no tax impact. This money is being taken from the assigned fund balance. Uh, it's not assigned fund balance. It hasn't been yet. Uh, and if there's no use of those funds during the course of the year, they will be returned to the assigned fund balance. To the general fund. Article number 10 has an estimated tax impact of $0.04 per thousand, which is uh, $10,000 for the building maintenance and capital reserve fund for the purpose of maintaining and repairing all things. Currently, a capital reserve fund. One of the things I wanted to ask the board for that was <coughs> before we issue this warrant, do you want us to put within each of the capital reserve fund articles the current amount of the capital reserve fund for those articles? Done both ways. So you can say that you put it in the warrant article or you have the information available to the question of the article. I would rather have the information available. I'd rather have the information available as long as we have the figures if the question is up. We will have the figures issued by the trustees of trust funds and we will have those available for the information. They have, to, they have to report the town to us. We will operate in that basis. Article number 11. It has to be 10 cents per thousand impact on the tax rate. This is for the fire department's capital reserve fund established in 2013 for the purpose of the carry and replacing fire. Article number 12 is uh, an impact of 11 cents per thousand. And uh, it is a request for $27,147. And that is the final payment of the five year lease on the public works order. It's not paying for the order with the tax and the town is losing its 
because it may have invested in the last five years. Article number 13 is 10 cents per thousand valuation of an impact and it's $25,000. In the case the police department capital reserve fund established in 2013 for repairing and purchasing police department vehicles. Article number, stop me, I thought I lost that question. Article number 14 is a request for 10 cents per thousand valuation. It's a request for $25,000 for the National Library Capital Reserve Fund established in 2015. For the purpose of purchasing, building, and or renovating a facility for the furnishing of equipment for the actual town library. Article 15. We have to send us the thousand, twenty-five thousand dollars to be deposited in the Department of Public Works Capital Reserve Fund, established in 2015 for the purchase of vehicles or equipment replacement or repairs. Article number 16 is a 49 cent increase in the tax rate. It is a request to appropriate $125,000 to be deposited in the Road and Bridges Capital Reserve Fund established in 2017. Article number 17 has no tax impact on the town to create a compensated lead trust fund. In accordance with the provisions of RFA 3119A for the purposes of placing in trust appropriated funds for the payment of compensated leave to employees in order to fully fund that benefit of time to avoid the expenditure of large unanticipated sums that would otherwise endanger the financial and operational requirements of the town and its departments. These funds. $10,000 appropriated to start this fund. The money will come from the unsigned fund balance. Uh, and the fund can be is revocable by the other town. So it's not a permanent fund. It's up to the town meeting to continue to do There is no tax impact. Article 18, uh, again, no tax impact. It is uh, to discontinue as a public Class 5 road parkway, known as Hill Street, um, it runs between the two lane road, approximately 228 feet in length, beginning at the intersection of the railway to Mill Street, and ending at the intersection of the railway to Deep Street. This is a very third track. Second, 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 Article number 19, which is a little bit of legal so I'm going to make it a little bit of uh, Article 19 is a petition. It has a tax impact of two cents per thousand. Um, it is a request for $6,000 to be turned into the draft account of the Article number 20. My petition has an impact of two cents per thousand. It is a request for four thousand one hundred dollars for the Tri County Community Action Program. Article number twenty-one is my petition has an estimated impact of four cents per thousand. The sum is nine thousand six hundred and fifty-six dollars, uh, which will benefit the Heavy Baker Community Health Article 22 is by petition has an estimated value of zero for this meeting. The value is calculated at less than one cent per thousand cents. Shown zero. It will be $1,250 appropriated to transport the country to transport individuals to doctors and blind people. Article number 23 is the Taking an article and has an impact of one cent per thousand, and it requires three thousand five hundred dollars to go to the Lakes Region Mental Health. <laughs> article number twenty-four is a particular warrant article. It 
as an inheritance of one cent per thousand. The appropriation request of two thousand dollars to go to the bridge house and the homeless shelter and veterans are Article 25, if I petition, there is no tax impact. The prior tri the current Tri County Community Action Program voted in 41 School Street and the town library using $400,000 for emergency funding. Article 26 is by petition as an estimated impact of one cent per thousand. It would be a cost of $2,000 and deposit in the account of that for the historical society of the church for the payment of the debt. That's important to warrant the public. Any questions? Any comments? Any announcements? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any So now we have a request from the town treasurer to appoint a deputy. Okay? Do you have a We do not currently have a town deputy town treasurer. Right? Treasurer by statute has nominated and requested the board to approve a suggested appointment to the deputy treasurer. And that person was to be and approved. The major has. In the town, been an interim county administrator. Um, he has been um, back up to um, the deputy tax partner. Um, he's a very competent person. I think a motion that we appoint DNA there. This town of action is a pleasure. Consideration of appointing a new utility building company and closing. Now, well, we're well, back on the property. So good, because I'm going to pass the buck to the person who's serving on the property. Who knows more about it than anybody? And I would ask her to fill the board in on the first that has been ongoing for some period of time. Trying to get us into a better building and collection system. Uh, we say friendly to our customers. No, is this primarily right now? Is this primarily for the electric system? Well, actually, it can be for all first. Well, it can be. Yeah. And that's our intention is to try to get a uniform system with all the benefits in it where everybody can enjoy those benefits for whether they want to or not. Will work with a proposed or maybe a new system. Yes. Um, so, 
for the So they already can work with dentists, with those things. Um, I've already talked to them about treatment, and they've been uh, kind of giving me some the system. They already know they'll be able to work with them, but they're already looking at it to see what kind of options they want to work with. Um, but they're, you know, I would say that I'm anyway. Uh, so myself, Anne, and Diane have been a demo with them. Uh, they can handle water, sewer, and electric for us to back. So going from two separate systems into one cohesive system. Um, some of the perks that we liked about it was if you've got a lot of apartment buildings in town, which we do, uh, you can not only see the landlords, but all of the tenants in all of the buildings, you can kind of back up them as well. So if you go into a tenant, you can go back into the building and back into the building. There's that. Um, you would, we would be integrating a credit card system so people could pay by credit card. Um, okay. And online. So online they can pay by their credit card that they can whatever they want to do. Yeah. Um, and on their online account, which is different from right now, you can see your current bill, past bills, you can see it. How you pay those tax bills? If you pay by check, it would say that you pay by check on the piece of cake, um, which may cut down on the calls of the girls in the office because they get a lot of calls of, you know, I paid with this check to you, can that one? Uh, right now, with the electric side of reporting um, from our current vendors, you don't get a, you pay this bill with this check, you kind of get a rolling balance, which makes it harder for them to explain kind of where it can fall. With this system, it ties every payment to a bill. Um, it also has the capability to do service calls. So, say, Anne gets a call that, you know, an electric unit needs to be changed out for some reason. She can put the service call in. The technician can now get that as a service call, put in her own notes, and complete it. And she can do that in real time. So, there's the program I can do a lot of different things. Yeah, um, with the online payments right now, the girls have to manually enter every single payment, just as if you paid in cash or check. With these, it dumps them right into a spreadsheet for them that says, all these people paid, here's their report. <laughs> it's already in their account. So they're only applying check or check payments at that point. Um, it is for a three year term. They basically bill on the accounting um, of But the great thing about this is that their people are trained to do the same job. So if something has something happened and our office can be open, their people can take care of our, uh, our consumers as well as print our bills and put them out. Fifteen grand a year after the first year, which has some people. Yeah, one time of setup and training. Mm -hmm. Those they didn't seem worth pursuing. 
this was one I did an initial call with, and after getting that information, we pushed the demo to take time to really see it. Yeah. So I'm assuming you had the demo in the office. Uh, yeah, so there's actually at my office, they were down here. We were all on the same cat like what's that, if you will. Um, and we all were very excited that he asked a lot of great questions and asked a lot of great questions. Everybody kind of left that demo feeling like, oh, this <laughs> can move over the next time. It's good. There is only because um, they're not a credit card processor, but that's the one that they've used for the last seven years, so they're fully integrated with them. Um, it's an additional about $32 a month charge, but they have it defaulted to the of the steps that you use for the person using the credit card, not the account itself. But that can be used to just. And it's, I believe, I have to try to try to but it's the same credit card process that she uses. I'm going to say that the credit card is all the same as the credit card is accepted. Yeah. Some companies don't accept that they take the exact discover card. Well, now we can. I've actually been familiar with Heartland. They've used them as a credit card processor at the restaurant that they work at. Okay. So they do use them as a credit card uh, how long before this could be uh, operational? Uh, they expect about a 90-day setup, which would coincide. Uh, we would have about a month before we would get the new meeting So it would be a good time to be able to get that set up before the new meeting came to be in trouble. They're set up to work with the new news. They're set up to work with the new news. That would be, um, wouldn't be an issue. I mean, they basically form out on a CSV file that they can drag and drop, which is how in the, um, in the microliter, that's how they would do it anyway for people, which is what we have now. They don't anticipate any issues with the new news. I don't take the software twice, right? No, because uh, the software that comes with the meters isn't a billing software. It's purely information. It's correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The work session is very important and we need to know what's going on. So I think it I think it would be a good idea if you have a new building system that will function. Yeah. 
And as long as this works with the proposed meters that we have coming in from Sydney, or at least they, they can go to the work around, because I think every word is a work around, I think so. Um, I don't have a problem with it. As far as our voting on the new building system, giving the new building system is a good idea. I think we all agree that giving a new building system, especially if it could be made to work for all of our utilities. Works. Now, as far as what's working on it, um, isn't that why we hired the town manager? Well, we have to do it. If the board doesn't want to pursue it, uh, they would really like to know that. I think we would have some information available. I think we've only gotten positive comments, so if, if you wish to have a vote on this, Mr. Wells, I guess we're looking to see how the board feels. If you're looking on how the board feels, um, I don't hear any negative comments, so I think that the board feels very good. Uh, we think that the consensus of this board will um, further study on um, new building is appropriate. Does that sum it up? Ladies and gentlemen, yes. Yes. Okay. We will do the program. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mr. Chairman, um, this is the result of, as you know, the, the former state of New Hampshire legislature located down next to the state uh, was sold. Uh, all of these have been recorded. Everything has been recorded into the town as far as change of ownership is concerned, and now that they are no longer a accidental organization, uh, and it can be before March 31st of this year. Um, we are requesting the board to sign a warrant uh, so that we may build them seven thousand nine hundred and forty dollars and forty eight cents in real estate taxes. Do you have a warrant with you? I do have a warrant here to be signed. It's actually signed here. Yes, that is for real. Really. No, that's for the entire year. That's well, the entire year. That's the year. Which year? Twenty one or twenty two? It's twenty one. Which ends on uh, April 1st, uh, not 31st. Uh, and it goes, it's actually, I, I suppose you could say it's prorated because it goes from the date the property is transferred. Okay. It's cool. Yeah. Well, I'll accept the motion. Make that motion. Thank you, sir. The motion is taken and so is the motion. We are not all in favor. Say aye. 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 Opposed? No. We are not in favor. Motion is taken. Sir, we have an application for veterans for the trial. I can tell you just off my own memory, uh, this is a, a person who served the required number of days of lack of duty uh, during the Vietnam conflict. Uh, and he has submitted all the information that is necessary to have the board approve it. Um, if the board would vote to approve this application, I have a signature sheet here. It needs to be signed by the board. Do 
Can you say that? 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 Can you say I have no old business for you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to respect the board on the festival of business. Well, um, I do have a question. Yeah. It's important to bring up. Uh, it's really on the selection of the item. Recently, the planning board allowed driving the church out the cell tower company. That's correct. Uh, to add a third component to their tower. That's correct. Now, we set the contract that we had with them originally to see if we were allowed to increase the money we get from them because they have increased the move. I think that's something the inspector will have to look at coming up for one. Um, I can tell you that I've read the contract and I'm a little surprised that, that in fact, that, um, there are so many exemption clauses and it was very difficult to read the contract. For instance, the contract was originally said that the group that they should provide insurance no. and identify the time. Provided that their company uh, follows the value of their company below $25 million. I think that's something that's going to be difficult. It's going to be, um, the other thing was um, remembering that all those many years ago that we were here, there was something about maintaining the road through. The wastewater treatment plant to the cell tower. How have they maintained it? I'm going to turn to our superintendent of uh, water and sewer because my understanding is that the maintenance is somewhat high. Um, I would think that that is something that we want to take care of. I, I don't disagree with you, sir, but I'm also thinking that because it is on the property of the wastewater treatment facility, that it is going to require a set of plans, and those plans definitely have to be approved by the Department of Environmental Protection. So, it goes without saying that that's going to have to happen. But that's just my opinion. There are four others here, and of course, so, uh, I'm here to do the board voting so I think it's appropriate because nobody has in fact, I did not see in this file anything from the Department of Environmental Services or the State of New Hampshire approving any construction for any reason in the late fall treatment plan. I think I did see something. Okay. Yes, Mrs. Bradley. I did see and in the final that we wanted to avoid the ELC and it wouldn't be a problem of setting it to the state consumer of the state. And this is 20 years ago, so I think I can't go on 20 years. But I do remember someone saying that the road that goes from the cell tower and the lagoon is in this Yeah. I like to get my three months long before I'm going to call it. Yeah. I don't think it's up to Western. I don't think that's a Western. This is why I brought this up. Is I knew it was coming. I could see it when I read the report. <laughs> Someone said, oh, did you have anything to do with it? And I had to remember that he did right here. I've always missed it. 
Okay. I will tell you that uh, my experience with rising and time is not very good. I have my running um, I'm taking it as a valuable input. Okay, does anybody have anything else to say? <laughs> My recollection is that access is not always through the road. And one time they went through the other road and back around. I thought one of the guys I I am just pointing that out that it's not always been a case of they use that word. That we did this for somebody else might bring that up. Because there was a time that we did go all around. And because that roadway kind of established us from what they what we had and now it's kind of the opposite foot the other way that we uh um, that's what the you know in the car and basically what it is. But there is a cut off road that goes on that the wings that they were using at one time. So maybe it's a known that it's an approach on both. I mean I just see I would not want to, particularly with five million dollars worth of improvements to our road sewer plan, I would not want them going through the area. Thank you, Laura. That's really good. Right. That's a good question. I don't think. Anything else? I want to see if you can get messages back. Yeah, really, I'm going to say that the time is going to be set about two minutes. So all of my dreams were always in the middle. But I've had given me the whole thing to do a contact person for Verizon. Okay. All the things that I've been able to do. Sure, thank you. Since I had a difficulty to get a hold of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have a way of doing it, but I will not tell you what I'm talking about. I'm trying to find out what I'm talking about. Yes, I know. Um, we have a way of forcing them to come to grips with us to get to if there are only two ways to get there, we could make it so there's no way to get there. Uh, that would force some resolution that is from the time. Yeah. So we could be instructionist if we have to in order to get something from the tax plan to the town and to make sure everything's safe. And that was I appreciate that. Now, is there anything else in the report for the item? Or all good things? Members of the board want to bring up. There is none. Non public, Mr. Wells? I have no non public for the board of public housing. Goodness. I thought it would never be another one, but I will accept the motion to the motion. I don't know if you said that. Well, I don't know if you said that. I don't think you said that. I don't think you said that. I don't think you said that.